So let's begin. We do have two of ones and the full new beginnings. We love this, a new chapter, right? We are at crossroads, Leo. It's been a while now. And with the full, it's like, well, something has to change. I am ready to jump. I am ready to start new. I am ready to leave behind whatever needs to be left behind, right? And by the way, with this deck, I do not read reversals. We do have two of wands and the four of swords. Choosing peace of mind. I love this. The healing of the mind, four of swords. Planning, strategizing. Beautiful. So let's see what else. Two of wands and the fool again. Oh my god, this is a new beginning, Leo. I hope you know that. It's twice, I mean... And every time we get the same energies, we know we have to stop shuffling, right? It's one of the um, unconventional ways of shuffling and uh, um, the customs, the unwritten customs of... Anyways, hey, let's see bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time. And we do have the lovers. Well, and the three of wands. Of course, we wait for love, don't we? Um, Leo, you might be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, and we do have the Ace of Cups. I don't understand. You have so many love cards surrounded by the death card. So, um, might be an important love that, um, ended, right? A significant bond. And it's interesting because we don't, we'll see how the, how the energies flow in this reading. But we do have the death and the Ace of Cups. Something has to die in order for a new love, um, to, um, come back. Well, to come into your life, right? It's a new love. So let's see what's going on here. Absolutely, we have a soulmate bond with somebody. Um, well, they love you. You love them. That's the um, lovers with the Ace of Cups. But then there are endings and that is waiting. So let's see what's going on. So Leo, past energies on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And let's see, let's have the possible outcome. On your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Bottom of the deck, four of cups, absolutely a missed opportunity. Maybe this is the ace of cups with the four of cups, right? Together it's a five of cups and it's the energy of... Um, Regret and uh, looking at the empty cups and the spilled milk and so on and so forth. So we'll see. We'll see what exactly. Maybe we are waiting on something to end. Well, it will make sense. So Leo, we go back to the blind love, right? We go back to the blind love. So in the past on your side, we do have the six of cups and the ace of cups. Um, this is the energy of love. This is the energy of um, being aware of the soulmate bond. This is the energy of missing somebody, reminiscent about the past. So probably it ended up well ago, even if in, even in in the past. Yeah, right. You have the energy of um, of reconciliations, the energies of longing for somebody, and oh my God, I mean that was a world of love that you put at the uh, at the feet of somebody, right? their fate a world of love um and that that is a sense of emotions and that is a sense of warmth and that is a sense of um um you know it's like six of cups we know it's a soulmate bond it doesn't disappear of course of course the connection can go in many ways but you know the bond is there so let's see this person of yours well Six of Pentacles, well, if you ask them, right, they reciprocated. They felt uh, the same, plus you are their wish fulfillment. We do have them in the Nine of Cups. Um, this is somebody desiring you, actually, right? And wanting to reciprocate um, and wanting to have this balance. And, um, of course, that is, that is this energy of um, loneliness, right? That's a Nine of Cups. It's like, yeah, I celebrate, but by myself um kind of energy so yeah they wanted you but by themselves in a um in a sense right but to some extent they wanted to reciprocate probably they did um probably they enjoyed the sense of balance six of pentacles the energy of uh, balance it's also the energy of kindness 
um, is the energy of yeah, but I've extended love to Leo, you know, and that they were my wish fulfillment. So, in case you are asking, you know, they show up to tell you, yeah, I had emotions for you. Um, and I wanted to bring something to the table that's a six of pentacles. Now, mutual energies between the two of you. We do have the four of cups, the energy of being guarded, the energy of self-protection, the energy of... And it's also paired with the men in the uniform, right? We do have the king of swords. So some of you might have divorced this person. Um, the situation, of course, can be a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, no doubt about. But because we have the death as the overall energy, something ended. And it was beautiful. And it was love. And it was... Um, Looks like shared and mutual to some extent. Um, emotions were shared, of course. I would say some communication. King of Swords, we know he speaks a lot, right? He speaks his mind, he's direct, he's abrupt, he's rough. Um, but he speaks his truth. So that, that might be that energy between you and this person in the past. But it's also the energy of cutting short, right? It's the energy of cutting to the bone. And... Um, and then we have the four of pentacles energy right they protected themselves you protected yourself and then that was descending to a very i would say loving situation we just started the reading and we already have twice the ace of cups and the lovers and the six of cups i mean that was a world of love in this uh, in this bond um leo where are we right now we are in the ten of swords um we are still hurt. We are still in pain. Um, we are ending this, Ten of Swords, right? Um, I mean, we hit rock bottom, but the only way is up. And, you know, the, you know, the universe is so um, extremely specific, right, with this one. Because um, it is paired with the chariot. This is breaking free. This is living behind. This is energy I don't care. Um, I only, my freedom is the only uh, thing that um, kind of counts. And it's a normal reaction to pain. It's a normal reaction, right, from um, all kinds of coping mechanisms to um, kind of uh, move away from something that is still painful. And it kind of makes sense because we had a lot of love for this person. Again, this energy of blind love with the Six of Cups, Ace of Cups. And, um, um, and now it's uh, the same, um, you know, weight that we put in in, in the self-protection self mode. For some of you, of course, might be a Cancer who did that, but I'm, I'm more sensing, that is a sense of recovery, that is a sense of transformation with the overall energy. Um, that is the sense of getting your emotional world uh, back and expecting actually with the Three of Wands, expecting actually to get back on your feet emotionally um, soon. I don't think we are waiting for this person, I don't feel, but I'm, I'm sensing this way, this um, sense of balance, this this sense of uh, being open again to meet new people, um, you know, to share your heart with somebody, um, your mind, um, but it's mainly emotions, right? That there's a sense of need, um, Leo, with so many love cards, that is absolutely a sense that is somebody can be you, can be the person you are dealing with. That is a sense of need and waiting. It's like it was painful, but now I'm I'm waiting, um, you know, to... I'm expecting, actually. I'm expecting, that's a word. I'm expecting to be loved again, you know, to have uh, an emotional experience again that is uh, meaningful and fulfilling, you know. And um, I, I believe we are ready. This is how it feels with the chariot. It's like, you know, it might, but the chariot is a rough energy, right? So it might be like a little bit of a forced... Um, kind of um, opening, right? In a sense that we're going to put ourselves out there even if we are not like like 1,000% ready, right? Um, at least this is how it feels. Of course, it's not something I recommend. Um, not that I. it's up to me to recommend. Of course, you have your better judgment, but I'm, I'm sensing this energy of... I feel like breaking free and I feel like I've just transformed that energy that i'm picking up for leo here somebody absolutely is in that energy now this person of yours leo um we do have the moon um pisces energy and we do have the nine of wands well somebody is blocking nine of wands is again the energy of self-protection but it's the energy of blocking they might be hurt just like you are 
um, we know that Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior, is um, usually is the energy also of perseverance. I don't feel this is the case. On the contrary, of course, we have them um, in the moon energy, in the shadows. We have them um, emotional, we have them scared, we have them afraid. We have them believing that uh, the world will fall over them, um, you know, kind of in pieces and uh, they might be at risk. That's a nine of wands, you know, keeping everyone um, away and probably you um, away. And it kind of makes sense because on your side you have, I don't want to say the same level of pain, but a different kind of pain, right? You do have the betrayal, they have the, the protection and being cautious. Now, the energy between the two of you right now, we do have the Five of Pentacles, right? That is no communication, um, cold energies, I don't want to talk to you, um, being um, left out, and, um, and this energy of nothing is happening, and we do have the Knight of Cups. Um, it makes sense, right? We are not on the same page here. Um, I'm sure the Knight of Cups is yours because you have so much love on your side. You have so, so many energies of, um, of love, of offerings, of so many bond of awakenings and transformations, while on their side they are more like on a blocking um, kind of energy. So I'm, I'm sensing this is, um, this is kind of uh, why we have one energy of a uh, tremendous amount of love with the Knight of Cups and uh, one energy of feeling um, lonely. Now moving forward, Leo, I would ex expect communication. We do have the Ace of Swords and we do have the Page of Swords. Um, does look like new beginnings, does look like communication uh, with somebody. Um, Age of Swords, it's a genius idea, um, and this combination of um, energies, Leo by excellence, speak of, speaks of um, new vision, clarity of vision, clarity of belief, uh, future, adventure, um, and um, having a plan, right? Um, it's like a it's like an aha moment, but it's it's one that is not shown by the universe, but by your own mind. Um, and again, we move into the energies of swords. I believe the um, the second week of June was also about the power of the mind, and it's interesting. The same energy comes back, and it is one again of clarity of belief of the mind, the plan, the ideas, and the new beginnings. Now this person of yours, we have them with the death energy and it's interesting we have them um, as the overall energy and we have them, um, you know, with energies coming their way and the Queen of Wands, which is your energy. Uh, it can be a, an Aries Leo Sagittarius you are dealing with, but it does look like a transformation and an ending coming their way. Probably this is how they see the situation right now, you know, in terms of um, potential and future and uh, I don't think they are seeing actually potential right now on the contrary somebody here is thinking of an ending um, and uh, probably transforming in the process it can also be a Scorpio energy mutual energy is between the two of you exactly the same as right now and in the past two completely different energy so we do have the six of cups we know it is on your side so we know you have a soulmate bond with this person i believe we are aware of this we have the clarity that we need and this person brings between the two of you the four of cups energy the missed opportunity just like the overall energy and it's interesting, right? We have the, it's, it's so interesting. The, um, um, all the, um, all the energies, the way it played out this reading. So pay attention. They have the four of cups and the overall energy it is four of cups, right? They brought to the table this. It's between the two of you. Now, overall energy, the death, they have the death as the overall energy. So it's like we are not being on the same page here, Leo. Um, you have all the, the energies of love as it is in the overall energy, but I believe this person is um, defensive. Um, maybe they, um, you know, feel hurt by what happened, a little bit scared, in self-protection mode, yet feeling lonely and yet bringing this energy of a missed opportunity, you know? It's like finally realize it, realizing, actually, um, 
you know, um, that they might have been wrong um, in regards to something. And of course, your energy is all over their energy. That's how we get the Queen of um, Wands. Um, but again, it's, uh, it comes from an energy of shadows and darkness. That's the moon and that's the death. And we have it twice. So for some of you, Leo, that is a lot of love. Again, this energy of blind love. Um, Knight of Cups, of course, is my love you, I want to, I want to make love to you card and energy. And Six of Cups is my, my soulmate energy. And you have it twice in your energy. So I'm not sure they are awakened as you are. Um, I'm not sure they are aware. And probably they come from a place of endings and hurt. And... Uh, well, ascension is not uh, the next step, I would say. I believe probably they need to heal something. The death, we know it's not the energy of happy endings. On the contrary, it's the pain painful one that requires in order to get through um, a, tra a major transformation of sorts. And I believe um, Leo, in their awakening, we got hurt here. That's um, the Ten of Swords. I'm not sensing at all an energy of wanting you to um, wanting to hurt you in some way, but I believe in the transformation and in the pain of giving birth to a new person. Um, somebody got hurt over here. So end of June, we get an aha moment. They get a form of transformation, a painful. They are going through a painful transformation. It's how it feels. Um, Leo, let's ask for some guidance, baby. Let's see if we have to take them back or not. You do have spent quality time together. Listen and talk to each other. I believe you are guided to have a good conversation with um, this person. And again, can be a Scorpio, can be a Gemini, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces again. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Scorpio again. So you do have spent quality time together, then we have have patience. Love is patient and kind always. So we are guided to be patient and to be kind to this person and have a good conversation and be supportive Leo make a genuine effort to show you care so have patience and be supportive they might be going through like I was saying it feels like a painful transformation it feels like a painful ending uh, of course we have we have the moon but we also have um, you know with the six of pentacles um, financial issues they might be going through um, all kinds of um, needs and wants right we know nine of cups is the energy of um somebody having um you know alcohol problems and and drinking by themselves right when nobody's watching can be so many issues that somebody can have but honestly it does look like a transformation is bigger than uh too many glasses of wine actually but hey so let's see what else we do have the chariot again, might be a cancer, but this is the energy of breaking free, Leo. This is the energy of breaking free, of moving, um, uh, moving country. So look at all the wonderful things you can do when you listen to your divine guidance. You've balanced so many different priorities and have come out a winner. There will be a lot of recognition and praise and praise headed your way, So, but don't be shy. Allow others to shower you with the gratitude you deserve. And now we do have the Queen of Pentacles. Taurus Virgo, a Capricorn energy for some of you. So, never doubt that you can make a difference, Leo. If you were doubting, because of course we still have ten swords in our body. So your creativity and ability to be innovative make you destined to succeed. Um, it might be time to expand your career, but don't forget to leave time for family. This situation involves a person, possibly you, who's down to earth with a gift for design and decorating. He or she is open-minded and nurturing. Um, 
it's interesting you do, you do have the chariot be open to success but because you have be supportive and have patience i believe you are asked to embody the energy of the queen of pentacles which is a very caring energy right somebody focused on everyday life making sure they have um, all that they want it's the energy of spoiling the other person so i don't know exactly what we are asked to do here um leo but we have spent time be supportive have patience and embody the energy of the queen of pentacles again be caring um the energies we need to get back into the flow we do have virtue you acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow so you have to encourage this person actually in their transformation you are called to, to kind of play a role this is how i see it we do have acceptance you are ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life we do have growth i want to expand my consciousness and my awareness virtue acceptance and growth somebody is growing we do have blame leo i accept responsibility for my well-being i love this right we need to get the well-being back into the flow we also have a regret i know that i cannot change the past and we do have death i am learning that endings are merely beginnings that is a, that is an ending here that is a transformation here um love is still here i'm not sure you are guided towards this person on the contrary on the contrary you are um, actually guided to be supportive and kind have the conversation that you need to have and you have the chariot twice one is advice one is energies right now it is the energy of keep going um leo and we have death and we have regret right we put an end to regrets and we just keep going. Honestly, that's the energy and it's, that's the guidance that we actually need and the clarity that we need here. Because this person is transforming and they are not ready for you. They are going through a painful transformation. And um, as it is, you know, when we look at this, as it is... Um, doesn't look like um you know two souls coming together on the contrary one is struggling and uh one is in pain and yet uh, in pain and yet full of love right so leo i hope you are surrounded by family and friends and people that love you unconditionally and we will go through that right so Leo, you know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.